Bands Act spirit is very, very close to me because my father was in the Defence Force, but also it gives us, gives us a bit of national identity. It gives you a whole other sense to what Australia has done in its young history. I just think that remembering the past is going to stop it from repeating itself. Ever since I was a young boy, I've always been to the Anzac Day doing service, and I've always like looked up to my father as someone that I want to be like. It's going to be a, a sobering experience. You're going to be there, and you can reflect upon the fact that you know, so many years ago, um, our Australian soldiers they were here, they were fighting for this cause. These students are embarking on a life-changing experience, following the footsteps of the Anzacs. It feels like a dream. I still feel like oh, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and go back to school. The Chief Minister's Anzac Spirit Study Tour is an opportunity to remember past sacrifices, connect with new people and travel to battlefields of significance as a representative of the Northern Territory. It's going to be one of those moments where you're not going to forget it. It's just going to stick with you for the rest of your life. So. Wow, tears. Yeah, very excited. It was late afternoon when we got into um, Paris and up to the hotel and we were about a 500 metre walk away from the Eiffel Tower and we'd been able to spot it when we were driving in and we were all going crazy like, oh my god, it's the Eiffel Tower. Seeing the Eiffel Tower was, we were all like, oh my god, it's the Eiffel Tower, wow! The people just listening to their accents and you could pick out the French ones and then you could hear some German ones. It, it was all just a mix and it was great, it really was. The Villas Bretonneau it was like, it was very special, like the tour basically started there. It was just unbelievable to see a town in France live like we do in Australia. It was kind of like a slice of Australia in France where there was all the French cuisine and stuff like that, but there was still the big G'day posters and things that just screamed Australia. Even the streets are named after Australian cities and they got fake kangaroos and koalas everywhere. It's just, you walk into the town and you basically feel like you're, you're home. You basically feel like you're in Australia. The sun was shining, it was a nice, beautiful, cool day. You couldn't believe that 95, 93 years ago that such destruction had happened. Our guy Peter Smith explained to us what occurred and why it occurred and just, it was just awesome. I just, I just learned so much. The way he was animated and the way that everyone else was just so into the Australian history was just amazing. To think that Australians who were the two Bobba Day tourists in that time, that we made that much of an impact and we saved that many lives that they now think of us as heroes. It's not the English, it's not the Americans, it's not the New Zealanders, it's the Australians that they remember and it just makes me so proud to be able to think that I'm part of that country. The dorm service inside was like five, but because we're part of a tour, we had to get there a bit early. And it was just, it was very special to see all the thousands of people walking up to the dorm service to just be there for the same reason that we were there. It was just, it was a very special moment and something that I'll never forget. The dorm service was just, it was awesome. It was so surreal watching Kevin Rudd get up and give that amazing speech and watching those kids that were both Australian and French alike, just honouring an Australian holiday that doesn't get honoured anywhere other than Australia. There was a few times where I turned around and just gobsmacked because I've gone to the ones in Adelaide River and Darwin and standing there and looking back it was amazing like there was so many people that Australian and French alike were there honouring those that died and those who lived.
There was a moment at the dawn service where the bugle was playing at the top of um, the memorial there and the lights were up there and the sun was just beginning to rise and it was just complete quiet as it sung out and just that moment of absolute beauty and the silence that accompanied it was incredible and it's something that I'm going to keep with me and think on when I'm going off to do and pursue um, my career goals and get ahead somewhere in life. Are you ready for the adventure? Join us on Facebook or visit www.anzacspirit.nt.gov.au.